All right, changing selective colors using the hue and saturation tool. All right, um, this is a nice little technique for isolating specific colors and manipulating them. Um, you know, as say I wanted to just change, uh, I want to just change these flowers to a different color without touching uh, any of the green leaves, or I wanted to change the green leaves without changing any of the flower. I can easily go in and use a, a paintbrush tool in color mode and and change, uh, you know, the color that way if I wanted to. Uh, but you know, it's just then I got to start watching, you know, where I paint and everything. This is what I like to do: go into your image adjustments, hue saturation. And bring up your hue saturation now under the edit where it says master just pick any of these colors here I usually just take red because it is the first one and then as you can see I've got the uh, eyedropper tool selective here and I'm just gonna click anywhere on my yellow flower now you can see where the sliders changed they moved over they're showing me the color range within this area I'm simply just gonna click and drag these sliders together now I'm going to increase the hue to the maximum and what this does is this shows me the area that's affected I'm not actually changing and it's just showing giving me a preview of the area that will be selected doing this now I'm going to click the add to uh, sample eyedropper and I'm just going to keep clicking on and click and drag over all my flowers and as you can see I've now selected all the flowers now I can go in with my hue saturation sliders and I can just change the colors of the flowers without touching the green. Let's try it again with the green. So I'm going to select red and I'm just going to click on here. As you can see the sliders has gone all the way over to the green with some cyan. So I'm just going to bring this slider over here and bring this slider over here. Increase the hue. Choose the add to sample and then just slide around on my green now I can actually change the color of just the leaves. Let's try it on another image here. Let's uh, let's try it on the let's just see if we can again make like a uh, maybe a fall uh, color with the leaves here and uh, the grass. Let's change that all to say uh, a nice orange. So again my hue saturation and I'm gonna pick uh, on the leaves here. Let's bring the sliders together. Choose the add to sample oops we forgot to increase the hue saturation and yeah, look at that and let's just change that to yeah, let's just go just like that perfect now if I didn't want the grass to be changed at all I can always just go into my history brush just before it and just bring back the original color just like that Let's see if I can actually change the color of the cart now see I've selected all that now I can use the minus tool just go on the faces there we go let's change it to a nice blue but I've got all the leaves and trees in the back so I'm just gonna go step backwards once slap that in hue saturation and we'll go at a hundred percent Cool. And let's try it one more time. Let's we'll see if we can change the. Let's just change the green and the grass here. Bring this together. Let's make it nice and yellow, shall we? So I'm just going to select this here. Don't want your faces. There we go. And let's go with a. See if we can go with the yellow here. There we go. And once you start milling, it does get a little bit tricky, so we'll go ahead and step backwards.
There we go. Just like that.